guys welcome back to a brand new video i've just got out of the shower and i am heading to london tomorrow with my mum to go meet my new nephew who is a week old tomorrow and i've just realized i've got no videos to edit on the train and i have got one two three four four different videos that need filming that are sitting on my bed look at the state of the bed let's not look at the state of me um yeah i've just got out of the shower and i've made zero effort basically and i'm just gonna roll with it i'm finally sitting down to film my what i got for my birthday haul let's start with the presents i got for myself <laughs> i always do this and actually i'm so excited that i finally got this so i got myself the n-dubs tour t-shirt she went with tara in december to go see them in manchester best night of my life they were amazing i'm actually gonna go see them again they're coming to norwich in august and i've got tickets um but yeah we went on the 4th of december it's on the back and afterwards we did not have time to look at the merch we literally left on the last song we had to get out of the venue to make sure we got our bus home it was a replacement bus and yeah so when i saw um the end ups put this on their instagram I had to buy it so I got it in a large and I think it was like 20 pounds it was like half price so I thought I just need to grab it and because I got that I thought I'd get myself two little things so I got the bath fizz peach fizz fragrance bubble bath this was two pounds from poundland but I love anything anything like this I love so I love my bath products as well and then I got a pick and mix I pick you set obviously they're gone but this was a pound one pound fifty and they were all pink sweets and pink is my favorite color so i treated myself to them so a little girl i look after did this card i'm actually friends with her mum and yeah she made me this card for my birthday which was lovely so cute and they got me some candy kittens i've never had these before and these were the very cherry like i'd forgotten i had these so i definitely need to eat them they also got a card of a boy who i look after as well and this key ring i won't show you the back because it says his name but i thought that was really cute and it's personalized on the back which was a really lovely touch a lot of my family and friends got me money for my birthday and i'm saving it up to do a weekend away with amber in may or april half term i've mostly got money but i got chocolates off my nan and uncle as well as mummy david's nan got me these two signs so if you saw what i got for christmas she got me the cozy one um and that said something about cup of teas reading a good book well she got me the love and the home and these go obviously in a set so i want these to hang above the tv i'm thinking um but that's something i'm gonna need help um, to make sure it's centre and straight. My birthday was the Friday and I saw my parents on the Sunday. Um, again, they gave me money, but they also got me some wax melts. These are the Wickford & Co. Got a Tropical Splash and Wild Rhubarb. I got some more wax melts. Um, these smell so fresh and clean. I got two candles, so I got the Airwick Teak Wood and Sea Salt. I'm definitely going to put this in the bathroom um candle with essential oils and i also got a little one from sainsbury's frosted pine and berries so again i'm going to keep that for christmas mum gave me a ring from um imperial candles the set but it's so small it doesn't fit on any of my fingers and i tried it on before this video and it got stuck so i'm not going to try it again um, but I'm going to keep it in my collection just in case, like, well, while I'm on my weight loss journey, you know, I sometimes lose weight on my fingers. We'll see. Tara got me some things from my Amazon wish list, and when they arrived, there was a little card in it, and it said, a gift from Tara, hope your birthday was wonderful from Tara. And she got me two books. I love books. So she got me One Night on the Island by Josie Silver. Um, I have no idea about this book, not heard anything from it, but it was on my wish list. And then the Being Molly May story, and I literally said about this book about two days before it arrived, I was like, I really want it, I really want to read it, um, but it's in my wish list, like, I'll get round to it. And then Tara bought them for me, which was lovely. Two of my friends from work got me some presents, and the first one is from Jasmine, she, done, she wrote me a really lovely card. Um, and it just says happy birthday love you millions thank you for always being there for me you mean so much to me and i'm happy to work with you so 
really loved that and to go with that she got me a little card I've literally saved this and I haven't put it anywhere but I need to find somewhere to put it now um, now that I filmed this video so it says so lucky to have a friend like you for being there to make the good times better the hard times easier and the laughter louder thank you for being an amazing friend absolutely love that and she got me two face masks her main present we actually went halves on it's from Lisa Angel and it was £22 which is quite expensive and I wouldn't have let her buy the whole thing it's a travel jewellery box and I just think it's stunning it says inside take me with you Lisa Angel and it's got a little embroidered rose I absolutely love this and I'm so glad that she went halves with me because it just makes it really special and I will take this on holiday but I might even have it on my dressing table to show like all the time because I've got my trinket dish but it just looks messy all the time. Friend Lily got me some presents, let me move them up. She got me four chocolate and vanilla cupcakes, I gave my nan and granddad one when they came over and then me and David had one. Obviously not here to show you but I really appreciate that. We have this running joke now that cause her birthday is in September, so I always get something Christmas themed. She always gets me something Easter themed or Valentine's themed because mine's in January. So yeah, I've got an Easter egg, white button. She knows I love white chocolate and obviously demolished that. She got me this Bubble Boutique hand cream and lip gloss set. And in the card her card was lovely i won't read it all but it says obviously to cara happy birthday um she gave me some money as well please take this money and have a round of drinks on me when you go out out so for my birthday me and amber went out clubbing hope you have the best day weekend love lots lily um and she said thank you for being there for me lately don't know what i would have done without you and just remember, I'm always here for you. I appreciate you so much. So these are just really nice things that you want to hear. I really appreciate that card. There was more in it, but I won't share it all. And this came later. She said in the card that the Amazon hadn't delivered this present. And she gave it to me a few days later. And it said, sometimes you forget you're awesome. So this is your reminder. So I need to find a cushion that will fit this. And I have no idea where I can put it. But I know I need to have that always on show always so i can remember it i got a card last week in the post and it literally made my day it was such a surprise the card says life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass it's about learning to dance in the rain and it's got a 15 pounds gift voucher for b&m and it says to cara one more birthday treat lots of love lisa and vicky which I was so so grateful for the last presents are from Amber and Amara so I also got these last week an auntie card happy birthday auntie with love to auntie Cara thank you for being the best lots of love Amara Rose and then she did a little picture inside age two which that means so much to me and Amber just said like she can't wait to go out out with me we had such a, a lovely week so the Thursday I went out with Amber we went, went shopping in the city and then the Friday night we went out out it was dead it was cold and it was dead but we did have a great night got me a bath bomb I won't go through everything but this is lavender don't think I've had the lavender bath bomb before but obviously that might be nice on a work night she called me the Hollywood browser hair removal for peach fuzz so thank you amber not quite sure what she's trying to tell me amber got me some slippers with my initials on and actually i've had an amazing idea i'm going to take these to work because i've lost my work slippers um and now i won't use them no one can nick them because they have my initials on them I've got a bottle of wine i haven't even drunk this yet echo falls fruit fusion peach and mango absolutely love that so i'm going to pop that in the cupboard or in the fridge to have over the weekend i got a me to you cross stitch i have never done cross stitch before in my life so i don't know how this will go but fingers crossed i'm trying to do like 5d arts and I want to get back into scrapbooking this year so i'm definitely up to trying this and i absolutely love this so i don't know where i'm going to put it maybe i'll put it in my purse it's an auntie guardian angel and it says on the back for an amazing auntie a special angel to watch over and guide you to bless you with loving tenderness 
and that was obviously from Amara which was the cutest so yeah that is everything to show you I got quite a bit of money that I'm putting towards a weekend away with um, but we haven't booked it yet but we need to get on that I have some sweets to eat and a bottle of wine to drink and I need to pop all this away so thank you guys for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and stick around for more videos bye Thank you.